Are we there yet? I'm hungry. Actually, yes, we're here. I just jumped directly into the dialogue. I'm like, I'm shit. I'm like barely just setting up my recording. I'm like, yeah. So, playing a, playing a few short games, a few backlog things. At least I think it's short. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I've got a few things in my backlog for puzzle games. I've been planning on getting around to, and I'm kind of passing time a little bit because we've got two things coming up this month. We've got uh, Rusty Lake Paradise and Push pipe paradise that's a weird coincidence they're both called paradise but whatever i have two puzzle games on my calendar this month that's unusual i never have puzzle games on my calendar i've always got like the next rpg or something but puzzle games i'm just arbitrarily picking from my backlog all the time but i got releases coming in so there this might look familiar if you remember steven's sausage roll from a while back as much if Fidel was a witness like, this game might be a sausage roll like. Is that a thing? Is that a, can I call it that? It's a concerning it's a concerning genre type. I don't know if I'm, if I'm up for that. We can cook dinner over the fire. Grandpa should have started one by now. Just picking voices at random because I have no idea who the people in the car are or how many there are, but campfire cooking! Yeah! You thought I was joking, I'm not. I'm super not joking. This game does not have controller support. I'm gonna... Wait, what do you mean it doesn't have controller support? I was just proceeding the dialogue by pressing controller buttons, wasn't I? Wait. Oh well. D? S? Click? K? Do I have to manually move the stick around? Wait, am I- am I insane? I was pressing A on the controller to proceed during the menu, but it doesn't have controller support? <laughs> Okay, so you you move these sticks around, and what it does is it rolls over, as you can see, and you need to cook both sides of the thing. Is this familiar at all to anybody? It's done! Anyway, it's fine. I can play without a controller. I'm just very confused why my controller was working. <laughs> I assume that's the restart button? Yeah. Two, turn when needed. There's supposedly over 100 things. Ooh. One out of ten here. Oh, and here's the little worlds and everything. I need to solve some more, seven more in order to get the next trail. Alright. There we go. So you can retract it just like that, and it's no big deal. There we go. Looks great! Yeah, that's right. It's a whole game about cooking marshmallows. And other things maybe, who knows? I know. I know because I saw them. Huh. So I assume double cooking is bad. Because it burns, right? Then you lose. If you burn a marshmallow, either undo moves or restart the puzzle. Click. That's what I thought. Oh, I see what's going on here. I have to roll through this fire to get to the other side of the course. But then don't use that one because it'll then burn. But this side faces the right way. Let's see! The great outdoors. A warm campfire and fresh air. Is there anything better? Cell reception? Cell reception. How do we check Poe's book out here? Face palm. Millennials. <laughs> The funny thing is that the, the stereotype is, of course, that children and millennials are all about the, the, the Facebooks and whatnot, but fucking... My family, oh my goodness, my older family cannot stop using social media. Meanwhile, like, everyone that's younger is getting really close to just being unplugged at this point. There we go. Dinner is served. This, this, these are, uh, these are, these are marshmallows? This is not a proper dinner. Okay, now I've got questions. Let's learn something. So roll over, roll back, then I, what if I push you? Okay, so a stick, so you can, you can cook both sides by pushing it, because if you push a stick with another stick, then the stick that's getting pushed does not flip. My favorite. I like the, I like how it's implying that the, uh, the marshmallows are talking. Like, the marshmallows are the ones that are like, nom nom, ooh, dinner served! <laughs> it's like, uh, you're dying. You're going to die. This is the end of you. 
There we go. My favorite. This might be a short game, <laughs> judging by how fast I'm going through these. Um. Okay. How is this gonna work? Very easily, as it turns out. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. I like the audiovisual presentation of this game. It's just it's just really pleasant. It makes me the happy. Oh, we can't. We, you cannot escape the board. You cannot leave the boundaries that it set. Okay, it's fine. Coming through. All right, so now they're all cooked up. Now the question is, how do I get the others? This one cooked over here. I guess I just push it by one. Yep. There we go. Cook to perfection. Oh. The game says good enough, but I say nay. For we must do the next piece piece of story. Also, there's dialogue marked on the map. The stars are beautiful tonight. Especially that big sparkling one. Look at it twinkle happily. That's a plane. You can actually see which ones have dialogue on them because there's a little dialogue box. And oh, I can't go over there because there's a log, huh? Aha! The puzzle, the mechanic list expands. Good to know. Which means I need to bring you over here to push you like this. To flip you. Gotcha. We're getting a few systems down now. So like Steven Sauce's role, they expect you to pick up on new mechanics intuitively without actually telling you about them in the moment. But unlike Steven Sauce's role, there haven't really been any major revelations or aha moments yet. Because that game is brutal. I made a mistake, didn't I? Okay, I just said that, and then might have walked directly into a difficult map. We'll see. So you have to do this first, no matter what. Because you can't escape this area without doing that. And you can't go down like that. But I can do this, this, this. There we go. Welcome to Mossy Highlands. You're going here whether you like it or not, because you finished the last one, so... Uh, ooh? Right click to rotate. Was that always there? That was not always there, right? That changes everything. You need to use this power responsibly. Then I can rotate it to roll it. Which means you're choosing between the ability to roll it or slide it, which affects which side you cook. New mechanics! Social snacking. You can play each location's puzzles in any order. You're just saying that I can do the... Oh yeah, that's what they mean by... Okay, so I don't, I don't have to do them in order at all. But I have no reason not to, except, except I, if I get stuck, I guess. Oh my goodness, this changes everything! What do I do? I'm scared. So I assume that this is because they're sticks? Is that what's going on? If they're sticks, you can rotate them? Or can you always rotate them? Well, you can't really... You can only rotate wooden sticks. Okay, that's exactly what I was about to... I was just asking a moment ago. So now we know that. Cool. Okay. Let's get you out of the way for a moment while I try to figure this thing out. Oh problem. This thing's a big ol' thing that's in the way, and it can't be rotated. That means the other- that means the other stick has to, like, get out of the way.
What is going on with this one? This one's a little weird. All right. Maybe this is where the difficulty starts to spike a little bit more. So I'm thinking like you got to get out of the way of the big one, right? Then we can just take you out of here so you're safe. But then what do I do here? Like that's cooked, but the other one's not. How do I cook that one? Can I change where the marshmallows are on the stick, I wonder? I'm actually a bit confused by this one. This one's weird. I could push you. Like, I'm thinking about how you could push it with this, potentially. But while that would allow you to slide it so that you can then flip this one over and, and do it, like we have many times before, it's simultaneously attached to one over here. And I can't put this on this fire to cook it without also cooking that one. I think I'm on the right track with this. Let's get you out of the way. There we go. I think that's what I gotta do. There we go. The trick is that this one on the left, the fire on the left only matters for the stick uh, marshmallow, not the other marshmallow. You have to avoid it completely. You know what? I am starting to like camping. The fresh air finally got to you. Actually, it's dessert for dinner every night that I enjoy. He's not wrong. All we're doing is eating marshmallows every day. I'm really concerned about uh, all of your choices, honestly. Oh, this is a problem. Because these are, we're back to these guys that don't rotate. Which raises all sorts of problems. So no matter what, you have to go first. Because you're blocking everything else. Eh. 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 Um... If you zigzag through here, you'd be safe, but that's- oh, that raises new problems. Like, if this thing went through here, and then through here, this would be cooked on both sides just fine. But it can't ever do that, because this guy is here, and in the way. And just here to be a general problem. Now you're cooked on both sides. So that's fun. There we go. I'm realizing I don't have to touch the handles. I can just move the marshmallows themselves, which once you get past the reflexes of burning your hands, uh, makes a lot of sense. Oh, stick. This changes everything. Oh, I can't go that way. Aha! Was there ever a game like Steven Sauce's Rule before it happened? I know- I know what Sokoban is. But was there ever like a weird 3D like flipped, uh, flipped box Sokoban where the boxes of the Sokoban are like being inverted in ways? This one's a wee bit concerning. How am I gonna make this one work? <laughs> the stick! You can't hit... Pong. Destroy the wood. It must be defeated. Problem. Aha! Oops. No. Um... Shit. This is problem. Am I trapped? Did it... Destroy the log. It must be defeated. 
This log stands in the way of all that is right in the world. Hmm. Let's try starting over. I do find myself at times uncertain as to whether or not I, the puzzle's still solvable or if I've passed that threshold already. That's a hard question to answer. Um, aren't I trapped exactly where I was a second ago now? We can't cook it that way. Oh, my bad. That's the easy part. It's this part I'm concerned about. Like, how do I... Yeah. I like how it sounds like I'm beating something made of wood. Like, it sounds like I'm beating a, a wood thing against another wood thing, and it's like it's a, it's a mar squishy marshmallow making that sound. I am basically trapped, aren't I? I mean, due to the shape of the level, there's only so many ways you can turn. But if I go that way, you, you're trapped. And I can't go forward, or it'll burn. What am I missing this time? This is what I get for taunting the difficulty curve. <laughs> There's only one possible starting O action, right? It's this... Yeah, it's this one. At which point I can't exactly just retract, because then I'm just gonna lose. So that, mean, that means you have to do this next, right? So that those many actions have to be correct. What happens if you rotate it? Actually, I can't, so it doesn't matter. It just feels so natural to make just just make it face that way and drive it in, but it you can't do that with the shape this way. But then it rotates, and your efforts are moot. Like I need it to be sh flipped over and destroy the log with my bare hands. That'd be a nice power to have. Like that part's easy. But if I go forward, I lose. Uh, I'm going crazy here. All I have to do is invert it from where it is right now. Like on two of these tiles, it's right, it's it's burned side up, but on two of the tiles, it's it's raw side up, and I just need to invert that. But how? It feels like the move set available to me in, it, it will always lead to the same outcome. Oh, I can rotate right, and that should have occurred to me because that's that's how the puzzle started too. Is you can rotate it over the dead zone as long as it lands in the, in the correct area. Son of a! Okay, first of all, you need to get out of the way because you're a problem. E. E. Fine, be that way. No, you. No, you. No, you. As the kick back and forth. No, you. Look, all that stuff over there. Nope. Why do you only move around the fire when using sticks? Grandpa, you just don't get it. We're playing a game. We call it Marshmallow Tactics. We specifically brought the... Wait, where'd you come from? There's more... <laughs> wait, I thought the... I thought I saw all the kids, but now there's another kid. Where'd you come from? <laughs> I thought there was just these two. We specifically bought those metal skewers for this trip. 
but but these sticks we found are way cooler. The, the characters in this game are becoming self-aware and they're questioning the logic of their own existence. We, they must be exterminated. So this is, yeah, they're just, they're just cementing what I discovered last mission, the idea that you can rotate over a gap. Learning. There we go, we're learning, we're getting aha moments a bit. That was pretty straightforward. Tasty! Yeah, I didn't think- Alright, oh, you're a stick anyway, so it doesn't matter. But that matters. That matters quite a bit. Except for the part where I can do this. But I shouldn't be doing any of that, honestly, because it's so easy for that thing to cook on its own that it should be not cooking it at all, because I should be considering what can be accomplished with this dude. Oh yeah, you're gonna be a problem, because you don't rotate. What? Does it have to be sideways? Oh, it can't be kicked over. It's impossible, because this thing is a log here. Oh, so I, so I, well, I was kind of doing the right thing, kind of. I need to come down here and poke you. There we go. And now we're safe to go. I see ya. Welcome to Starfish Island, World 3. Stoked. Oh, hello. Is that... Wait, are those strawberries? You're cooking strawberries? I don't understand. Also, how does cooking strawberries work in this game, exactly? Do you just have to end the level with that being on the thing? Okay. So you cook both sides of a marshmallow, but whenever there's a... Whenever there's a, a bucket with something in it, you just need to ha end the level with it being on the spot. Good to know. Can I move this around? You can't. It's a dead, I it's a dead item you can't interact with. There we go. They seem to just be making sure I understand it. This is a pleasant little game. I like it. It's not exactly difficult so far, but I'm having fun. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> I did not plan for how I was going to get this thing to come with me. So what happens if I do this? You get stuck. But if I do this, you'll get pushed. But I can't do that on this side. So I'm trapped. Okay, yeah, that's all I have to do. That's why there's a little end point here. Whoops. Because now I can rotate and then push it over. No, I can't. Why did I think that was... Ow. Why did I think that was going to work? I don't, I don't know how I thought that was going to work. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what my thought process was. Um... Hmm. If you push it in here, you kind of get it trapped for good because you because you can't sideswipe it from this from the extra row over. That means that once it's in here, you can't bring it back. But meanwhile, like I, that means if I get it in here, I can only bring it back by going all the way over here. But at that point, I'm trapped and I can't get it back out. So I don't want to push it in here because it's a dead end. I think. I think that's how it works. But I can't push it this way, because it's impossible. Because the stick doesn't work that way. 
If I push it in here, it can only be retrieved by being from here. Oh, now it's tomatoes instead of strawberries. I think it was strawberries before. I could be crazy. And if I go here and push it back, then I'm trapped. Maybe I'm not trapped. Maybe that's the trick. Because I can escape. I just can't cook this thing again. There we go. I just had to plan my exit better. I was, I was actually already on the right path. Ever thought about how tiny these pots are? <laughs> okay, you just be, you're just becoming self-aware now. I mean, look at them. Why didn't we bring bigger ones? I have to heat two of them to get enough food. Each of them holds one suggested serve. Oh, it's based on serving sizes? There y'all are. Ah. New problem. Uh, neither of these can rotate. It's like, well, I can do something like this, then I can't cook this guy, really. Not quite the same way, anyway. Also, you can't go over here. Which raises all new questions about how, what to do with you. It's like, you can push that forward, for example, but then how do you get cooked? Oh, you can't even use the mushroom, uh, marshmallow as a pushing surface. It has to be the stick, it looks like. Okay. That at least allowed me to, allows me to finish cooking. No, I think I was on the right path a moment ago, actually. Because I can flip you over. Then that happens. No. I don't think I can do this because I can't cook it afterwards. I'm trapped. Yeah. But if, but if I leave it here, it gets trapped this way. I need to push you, though, so that you can do this. But now you can't flip over. Hmm. At which step did this stop working? I feel like the broccoli has to be pushed in the, into the fire. Because, like, this is coming from this direction, so it's not like I can go around the broccoli. And because the broccoli's already against the border, I can't push it away from the border, which is the same problem that the carrots currently have. And because the sticks only come from up here and down there... Let's see, where, where the... Yeah, the carrots start out here. And since this... Go, go away. Since the carrots start out here, I can't go over here and, like... Sneak around them, so the carrots have to go here, and the broccoli has to go here. Carrots could go there, technically. But then I can't cook this guy. And I can't get to that fire without pushing carrots in the process. At which point this thing becomes uncookable. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I am pretty sure about the broccoli, though. I think. Hmm. Because I feel like this has to happen. And you have to cook that away, because your goal will be to push the carrots back out. The problem is that you can't push the carrots back out without pushing this first. Oh, I see it. Duh. Just don't. Just do this entire part first is all I had to do, dummy. I was just one step away. 